All right. So, uh, good morning, Pat. How are you? Uh, good. And how is um, <laughs> and uh, at 3M taking his Marshall Miles morning? Well, we'll start off with yesterday. We left here and we went to New York. And it was uh, 52 and cloudy and, and uh, showery here. <laughs> Got to New York, and it was about eh, 58. The sun started coming out. When the sun came out, it went up to 62, 63 right away. Coming back, it was uh, sunny when we left New York at about 63. Then about got past the George Washington Bridge and got on uh, the Henry Hudson. And it started to cloud over. Still right around 57. But by the time we pulled into Sharon, it was uh, cloudy and 53 degrees. <laughs> didn't change. Uh, it, 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 didn't, it, didn't seem, it didn't seem to change uh, at all. But... I will tell you, the traffic in and out yesterday yeah. was a breeze. There was uh, there weren't that many idiot drivers. Uh, I don't think there was one. And uh, and there was absolutely no... Normally, you pull into New York, and you get off at uh, at the boat basin, and the traffic's backed up. You know, you just, it just takes a while to get... Not yesterday. Boom. Right in. Everything. Everything everything went perfectly. So that So it turned out to be a good day, even though the weather... Uh, up here was not that good. And then this morning I walk out, and uh, once again it's uh, 47 degrees and it's raining a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, you may get a, a glimpse of the sun today, but for the most part it's cloudy. We have a chance of either a little drizzle or showers. Nothing significant. Low 60s. Rain and drizzle tonight, low 50s. Showers tomorrow. And, again, I get, this is nothing all day. The, here and there, low 60s. Friday, a better chance of showers at a thunderstorm, 65 to 70. Your Saturday, clouds will work for some sunshine. That should help our temperature to 65 to 70, but looks like rain and in the 50s on Sunday. So now, Mike Cosby wants it to rain heavy on Friday night so he doesn't have to do a baseball game on Saturday. Is that going to happen in, in New Jersey? It's possible. Yep. All right. Is it going to rain heavy here on Friday night? Uh, if we get if we get into thunderstorms, yes. If not, we'll just have showers, and you know, uh, it, it's really the same old pattern that we had last month, April. Uh, it has not changed much at all. Uh, there's no severe risk for us of thunderstorms, so that's out of the question. And uh, again, you know, like um, tomorrow, uh, we'll have highs in the low 60s. Go down to Maryland, Delaware, 85 to 90. Wow. That's the difference. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. know. Even yesterday, you know, like you said, uh, the city was like low 60s. Um, in and around the Hudson Valley, it was generally in the 50s. Well, how about this? Newark, uh, when we were coming down, and it was, uh, it was 58 or 59 degrees, and we were already uh, close to the city, uh, Newark had a temperature of 70, Newark Airport. Yeah, well, Philly and Atlantic City, 76 and 78 yesterday. Right. Because that's where the sun was. Right. And that's what that's the most important factor. In the month of May, where the sun is, the temperatures will be a lot, a lot warmer. You know, a lot of people say, well, could it really be that much of a difference? Yes. Oh, yeah. At this time of the year, you can get, you know, we could be... Uh, 80 to 85, and then you drive down to Long Island, and the temperatures there are 60 to 65. Yeah. Because right. of the ocean. Which, uh, the water temperatures are still like in the 40s uh, across Long Island. So, very, very cool. And um, aside from that, uh, what can I tell you, uh, we uh, we had no luck with the um, converting the file, by the way. Um, my machine is... Uh, not equipped with OCR and in order for them to do that they have to add memory and something else I don't know what that's going to cost so forget that um, I spoke to I spoke to a couple of people spoke to my my accountant who has a machine with the, uh, with OCR uh, feature in it and she told me to call her salesman and I did uh, he never called me back so forget that <laughs> I called our our uh, 
our friend and buddy Gary Garrison. You know him from Arsic and Lace. Yeah. Uh, and he's got the equipment in his office. He spoke to I spoke to him this morning. He said if he don't have the file to me tonight, it'll be here tomorrow morning, and it'll be fine. He'll be able to do it for me. So that takes care of that. And um, wash my hands of that thing. And um, uh, up and onward to, um, let's see, what else am I doing? That's probably it. I don't think anything else is, uh, is popping. Everything else should be relatively quiet. Uh, next week at this time, I'll begin to get more nervous because next Friday, not this Friday, next Friday I go for my oral surgery. Aha. Uh-huh. And it's on my mind almost every day. I'm even, I'm even dreaming of it. Um, It'll be okay, know, Pat. It'll be okay, Pat. It'll be I okay. know, I know. It's just, you know, it's all this, it's all this, you know, prep and everything like that. I was talking to my handyman yesterday who came over. He had um, several teeth done also. And he's the one that really calmed me down on this. And he says, look, I didn't take painkillers, Pat. He said, I took, uh, you know, like Advil. He said, it was fine. I said, yeah. I said, well, let me ask you another question. What about swelling? He said, well, I don't know what to tell you. He said, I normally don't swell, and I didn't. He says, but there are some people prone to that, some people who are not. He says, so uh, I can't answer that question for you. I, he want says, you, but, I, I want you to just think positive going into this. Okay. Think positive. I'm telling you, I'm a person that hated to go to the dentist, but when things like this had to be done, yeah. I just thought positive, and and it, it ne- never turned out as bad as, as you think it can. Really, I'm telling you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I believe you, Marshall. You'll be able uh, to speak. You'll be able to do everything that you want to do, and it'll be the and it'll be the first step to getting everything wrapped up. It's so uh, you'll be fine. Yeah, it is the first step. Yep, you're yeah, right. So don't worry about and, it. Uh, yep, and that's it. And uh, while I was on with uh, Mr. Garrison, I said, um, "Are you running for re-election this year?" With the association, he said, no, Pat. So he said, Pat, with my current job, he said, I'm running all over the place. He said, I'm at the lake now. He said, because I have to be at Macy's in the city today. I said, okay. And I said, he goes, and tomorrow, I put, he's flying to uh, Massachusetts tomorrow to BJ's. He said, uh, and then I'll fly back to New York on Friday. I said, are you kidding? He goes, no. He said, so I don't have the time uh, to put forth uh, with the association I'm stepping down. I said, and is the uh, treasurer ste- stepping down? He says, Nancy's stepping down. I said, okay. He goes, and as you know, the president is not completing her term. Uh, so she's stepping down. I said, and what if no one steps up to the plate? He goes, that's a problem. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> I said, well, this never happened before, but I'm sure somebody will step up. Are you interested, Marshall? I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not. Because I still think there's a monster in that lake. Um, hey, so I'm going to go over the days for you here now. The Sharon Classic Road Race is Saturday. Uh, that goes on okay. from 9 to noon Saturday, so that should be okay. Should be fine. Should be okay now. Let me just, was, I was just going through my things here. What's going, what's going on here? And uh, let's see that. Oh, okay, Anchorage Presbyterian Church is having that. Oh, there's a Kentucky Derby Social on Saturday, but that's indoors, so it's still going to be nice. I'm just looking for anything that's outdoors here. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, most of the stuff is indoors this weekend. I'm not. I'm, uh, I, but you know what? I've got a feeling that, that I'm I'm what? overlooking something. Hang on a second here. As you, and you said, you said the Kentucky Derby is going to be nice. No, uh, I need. It's we, we're get, we're gonna we have all these organizations that have Kentucky Derby parties, and they're oh, but inside. The Kentucky Derby is this weekend. Yes, and in Kentucky, there is there's a ninety percent chance of showers and thunderstorms there with a high of seventy three. So, so ninety percent chance. So that means they might get some rain there then. Yeah, that means they will. That means that's right. <laughs> There we yep. go. I like that. I like the conviction of Pat Pagano. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So they will get rain there, but uh, but but and Mike Cosby might get rain enough rain on Friday night where it might flood out his field because his field does flood easily. He says. Yeah, I think so. Because he's looking to get Saturday off because he doesn't want to coach a baseball game and have to miss the Kentucky Derby. 
Oh, is that how it, play, yeah. how it works? Yeah. He's got to coach a baseball game if they play on Saturday. And, of course, it's right during the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Problems, what a dilemma. Problems, dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. What a dilemma, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, well, what the heck. You know, he'll, 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 he'll adjust. There we go. We That's adjust. it. I mean, you know, this is what happens when you're uh, a big shot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what you tell them, Marshall. When you got so much on your plate, this is what happens. Right. But I like it because I'll be sitting out in front of the station in between 9 and noon, broadcasting and mm-hmm. playing the music for and, and stuff like that, and it's going to be beautiful weather for the Sharon Classic. Oh, so you just play music. You're not doing any... Uh, oh, no, we're, broad- com- we're broadcasting live. Uh, well, oh, no. so you'll be doing commentary and stuff like that, right? You are. Me commenting on a race? Come on. <laughs> what do I know about a race? <laughs> oh, look, there's somebody who looks very tired crossing the finish line. Yeah. Oh, here's another person with a bright red face crossing the finish line. <laughs> oh, and by the way, thank you, thank you, and Jill for that email on um, Great English. All right, there you go. Yes. All right, well, Pat, I guess we'll speak to you tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. And uh, welcome to a new month. Yes, and happy uh, Maypole Day to you. Oh well, I broke the Maypole, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast uh, here on Robin Hood Radio. Uh, of course, if you miss them and you'd like to hear them again, RobinHoodRadio.com. Click on On Demand. Click on Weather with Pat Pagano.